Hey, this is Nick Moke. I'm here at CES 2019 and we are at Byton. Uh, Byton is actually a Chinese manufacturer that made a big splash at CES last year by rolling out the M-Byte, which is actually a competitor to Tesla. And they're back this year, not with a new car, this is actually the same car, but with a new crazy interior concept. Uh, you can take a look around, I feel like I'm sitting in the deck of the Enterprise. It's pretty futuristic uh, for a couple different reasons. I want to point out a couple different features here. Uh, the biggest thing you see, obviously, is this massive screen that just consumes the entire dash. This is a 48 inch screen. It's actually not a touch screen because you can see here, I mean, it's way too much effort for me to actually try to reach it. So the way you control this is with these cameras built in here, which are gesture controls. So as you wave your finger around, it's not working right now, it's in demo mode, but there should be a cursor on here which would allow me to interact with the screen. There's actually three kind of different screens broken out on there. On this side, it's all the driver's uh, controls. Uh, you can even see like the rear view mirror is there. It's using cameras rather than an actual mirror. The middle screen is kind of a multi-function screen that can do nav or even display like spreadsheets. I don't think you'd actually want to do that. Uh, and then over here, you actually have like an entertainment screen for the passenger. Um, you can also see, as if that weren't enough screen for you, there's actually a screen in the middle of the steering wheel. And though I can't really move the wheel very much, you can see that the screen is fixed. It doesn't turn when the wheel does. Um, there are a couple hard controls here, I guess, for uh, to keep it familiar. They have your uh, park, reverse, neutral drive here on the, on the steering wheel. But other than that, this is a totally new design paradigm. Uh, you can see it's in demo mode, so I haven't been able to really try it out. But as I mentioned at the beginning, it, it feels completely futuristic. And the craziest part about this car is they're actually going to show off the real production model of it in June at CES Shanghai. So this is not even all that far off from production.